I want to start by talking about Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. I really like this movie, but I like it because it has a lot of stuff I like in it. And if I'm being honest, it's not that great of a movie, really. And I like it for basically personal reasons. Likewise, while it might be a merely solid episode, Daring Done will get a fairly high rating from me because it has a lot of stuff I really like. First off, it's a Daring Do story, and I almost always like those, mostly because they lead to a lot of adventure in exotic locations, which is the appeal of the Indiana Jones movies. Action and adventure in an exotic location with fun, likable characters. So let's start with the characters. The duo of the episode is Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie. Just in terms of on-screen energy and dynamism, they're the strongest pair on the show. It's always fun to see them play off one another, and both get to explore new territory in the episode in terms of what they do. Like Pinky being the voice of reason, and Rainbow being a damsel in distress. Maybe she wouldn't need saving if she didn't just surrender to the bad guys. Don't worry, we'll get to that. The other main character is Daring Do, who's also in a fairly different situation. Namely, being down and defeated by all the bad press around her tomb raiding antics. She's a lot less independent and hard-headed, and they get into why she goes on adventures. She cares about saving ponies and ancient treasures from greedy tools like Caballeron. Incidentally, I believe it's a similar motivation that makes Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, and everyone else, everyone else. So that's the characters. Let's move on to that exotic location. Our story takes place in Southern Equestria. Or, as it's better known, Egypt. This is another example of the episode having things I really like. I've always liked Ancient Egypt. So obviously I was loving all the pyramids, the art style, and especially the story of Somnambula. If you think her name sounds like a medical condition, there's a reason for that. Uh, yeah. I don't know why she's named after sleepwalking, but I do know the hieroglyphic story sequence was awesome. And we get a nifty new monster. She's a sphinx, naturally. Now, obviously, the art design is great throughout this whole bit, but I do have to say that it's a little bit silly for Somnambula, a lowly villager, to be dressed like Cleopatra. Okay, now let's dig into the plot, and this is where the trouble starts. In the broad strokes, I like the concept. Caballeron has a really good plan this time. He's using his enemy's own actions to spread disinformation and cover his own crimes. There's also a good reason for him to leave the girls alone in the pyramid. He needs to skip town with the loot. But there are multiple contrivances that are just kind of weak writing. First off, Dash just gets captured, basically without a fight. It wouldn't bug me if she was completely surprised, but it looked like she had time to either fight or try and fly away. But she just doesn't. Also, the video game air jets that get them across the slime pit. Acid pit. No, Sergeant, it's a slime pit. It's a freaking acid pit. Anyway, those were just silly. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony, Daring Done. On the good side, this is a great adventure with a strong main cast in a striking location. On the downside, the plot has a couple of pretty big contrivances. But don't let that stand in your way. I give My Little Pony, Daring Done, a 4.5 out of 5. Now, if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel right here on YouTube. And find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.